Well, the August Wilson African American Cultural Center has a newer exhibit called August Wilson, the Writer's Landscape. And Mikey is here. And Mikey, you recently yeah. got to see this for yourself up close. I did, and it is really a must-see. The massive exhibit, it explores the people and the places of Pittsburgh where August Wilson, the famous playwright, was born and raised, and whose upbringing here helped to inspire his acclaimed 10-play American Century Cycle. I'm here with Janice Bur Burley Wilson, who is the CEO and president here. Janice, this exhibit has been here, what, now for almost a year? Yeah, we're coming up on the one year anniversary and we're very proud of it. We've had over 2,000 people that have come through the exhibit. It's free and open to the public every day. Um, people can go onto our website to make reservations. All right, well, what I wanted to do was share a little bit of the exhibit with you all. So what is this room that we're in now? This room is the cafe. It represents the places where August Wilson would go and sit and smoke cigarettes, drink coffee, and write the important plays in the American Century Cycle. Here you see at this booth, uh, we have a cup of coffee, tablets with some of his actual handwriting, and of course the cigarettes. Are those his real cigarettes? Oh. oh, they're real. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it appears as though he just got up from his seat and, you know, did something else. Yeah. But that's okay. what it represents All here. right. Well, I want to show this next room here because you have his actual, like his personal desk here. Yes, this is the office. We have some of his actual books from his library, his record collection, and the writing desk. And if you select one of the images that you see on the desk, it will open up a video that tells you about the plays. All right, let's keep going. This is fun. Okay, so as you walk from room to room and actually play to play, you find more information um, on the walls too. Yeah, there's a lot of information here. You actually probably need to come through the exhibit a few times because it's so rich in information. There's an, a room for every single play in the American Century Cycle. And August Wilson was known for writing a play in every decade of the 20th century documenting African-American life and American history. Look at the stars. The starry sky, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this image right here is um, a replica of one of the quilts that his wife made for Gem of the Ocean. Constanza Romero Wilson is his wife, the executor of the estate, and also was an advisor on this exhibit. Okay, and Janice, have we been invited to dinner or what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this room, it represents Joe Turner's Come and Gone, set in 1911 in a boarding house. And in the early 1900s, people were traveling from city to city and they would stop and, and stay in boarding houses. And part of the appeal was to have dinner. And so people would sit around the tables and share their stories and their oh, lives with well, one another. It all looks good. All right, we have lots of rooms to see. This is something that I really um, and I'm excited about fences. If you don't know August Wilson, you at least know fences. Absolutely, yeah. because of the movie with Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. This area right here represents the front porch and fences. You have the refrigerator that was outside, <laughs> the baseball, um, the roses that represent Rose, um, Troy Maxson's wife, and the football helmet that represents his son. Um, so it's so it's a very um, popular part of the exhibit because so many people know the play and know the movie. Yeah, and you also have the Jitney exhibit around the corner. That was yeah, pretty cool. we have a Jitney station here. <laughs> <laughs> so it's um, it resonates with a lot of people, especially people that are from Pittsburgh and people of a certain age, because they remember what the Hill District was like in the various decades, and they see things and uh, images on the wall that jump out, like, oh, that was my grandmother's house, or it was near my cousin's house, or whatever. It's, um, it's, a, it's a, an exhibit that people love to return to. So we're very proud of it. Oh, well, this has been so much fun. I remember Jitney's from growing up. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you that much. All right, we still have some more to see, so let's keep going. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I have to tell you, and, and coincidentally, it's Diner Week here for us on PTL, mm -hmm. but even just setting the scene when you first walk in, I think that, that immediately puts your mind in that, that frame, it right? It puts you like, into his life. It puts yeah. you into and his life. His actual it. handwriting. Yeah. I mean, that's really cool to be able to see. It so. is. I mean, this exhibit, it's massive. I mean, it's 3,500 square feet. It's not something that you really can see in an entire day. Like, you need, you need to come back because you'll miss little things. Yeah. Do you have a favorite part of it? 
You know what? The cafe, the first portion that yeah. I was in, it was really cool. It was supposed to, it's like a replica of an old cafe that was in the Hill District. It was called Eddie's Cafe, and you could see his old cigarette, and I mean, all it that. wasn't really a real cigarette, but yeah. it looked real. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. I did wonder about that. Yeah. Like, I, th I was taking it literally. Like, <laughs> but that's, that's how lifelike it is. Everything, you're like, is that real? No, it's not real, but uh, it's, really it's, cool. it's really cool to see. Yeah. Very fascinating. Yeah, yeah, thanks for the tour.